Once upon a time, in the heart of ancient Celtic lands, there existed a festival known as Samhain, celebrated by the ancient Celts. Samhain marked the end of the harvest season and the beginning of the cold, dark winter months. Little did they know that their ancient customs and superstitions would lay the foundation for the history of Halloween as we know it today. The Celts, who inhabited parts of what is now Ireland, the United Kingdom, and France, revered nature and its cycles. Samhain was a pivotal point in their calendar. Celebrated on the night of October 31st, it was a time of both celebration and fear. The Celts believed that on this night, the boundary between the living and the dead blurred, allowing the spirits of the deceased to return to the earthly realm. As the sun dipped below the horizon, the Celts lit bonfires to ward off the encroaching darkness and to offer warmth and light to the spirits. These bonfires symbolized hope, as the people knew that the light would eventually return with the arrival of spring. Costumes played a significant role in these ancient celebrations. The Celts donned costumes made of animal hides and heads, believing that these disguises would protect them from the wandering spirits. It was a way to hide from the dead, and possibly blend in with them, ensuring safe passage through the night. This ancient practice laid the groundwork for the costumes that would become synonymous with Halloween. The Celts were also generous souls, and they believed that the spirits that roamed during Samhain were not malevolent but rather in need of appeasement. They offered food and drink on altars, hoping to soothe the souls of the departed. This custom evolved into the modern tradition of leaving treats out for costumed children on Halloween. As the Roman Empire expanded, it brought its own customs and holidays to the Celtic regions. One such holiday was Feralia, a day in late October when the Romans honored their dead. Another was the festival of Pomona, the Roman goddess of fruit and trees, which inspired some of the traditions we associate with Halloween today, such as the bobbing for apples. As the centuries passed, Christianity emerged, and began to spread throughout the Roman Empire. On May 13, 609 AD, Pope Boniface IV, dedicated the Pantheon in Rome, to Saint Mary in All Martyrs. A day to honor all saints and martyrs. This was the date of Lemuria, an ancient Roman festival of the dead. The night before October 31st, was called All Hallows' Eve, which later evolved into Halloween. This was a deliberate effort to Christianize the pagan Samhain, blending ancient Celtic beliefs with Christian traditions. In medieval Europe, Halloween underwent a transformation. The festival began to incorporate elements of the European custom of souling, where people would go from door to door, offering prayers for the souls of the dead in exchange for soul cakes. The tradition of souling eventually evolved into the modern practice of trick or treating. The poor would go door to door, requesting food in exchange for prayers, and this became an integral part of Halloween festivities. By the 19th century, Halloween had made its way to America, brought over by Irish and Scottish immigrants. It was in the New World that the holiday began to take on its modern form. Americans embraced the custom of carving jack-o'-lanterns, a tradition derived from Irish folklore. The story of Stingy Jack was a popular tale in Ireland, in which a clever but malicious man outwitted the devil on multiple occasions. When Jack died, he was neither welcome in heaven nor hell. Instead, he was condemned to wander the earth with only a burning coal inside a hollowed-out turnip to light his way. The Irish people began carving scary faces into turnips, and later pumpkins, to ward off Jack and other malevolent spirits. These carved lanterns, typically made from pumpkins, became a symbol of Halloween, with their eerie, flickering light. Halloween in America saw the emergence of new customs and practices. The holiday provided a fertile ground for creativity and mischief, and it became known for its pranks and revelry. Costumes grew in popularity, 
and people embraced the opportunity to dress up as various creatures, both spooky and whimsical. As the 20th century dawned, Halloween continued to evolve. Trick or treating, inspired by the medieval tradition of souling, became a popular pastime for children. They would dress up in costumes, visit neighbors' homes, and collect candy in exchange for the playful threat of tricks or pranks. Halloween parties became common, with games, fortune-telling, and spooky decorations. The practice of bobbing for apples, inspired by the Roman festival of Pomona, remained a beloved Halloween tradition. In the mid-20th century, Halloween became increasingly commercialized. The sale of decorations, costumes, and candy, began to soar. The holiday became a significant cultural phenomenon, with businesses capitalizing on the public's appetite for all things spooky and supernatural. Haunted houses, spooky mazes, and horror films became part of the modern Halloween experience. These attractions offered thrills and chills for all who embraced the holiday's eerie spirit. Halloween parties evolved, and the range of costumes expanded to include everything from classic monsters to pop culture icons. Pumpkin patches and corn mazes became popular family activities during the fall season. Today, Halloween is celebrated in many countries around the world, each with its own unique customs and traditions. For instance, Mexico's Dia de los Muertos, or Day of the Dead, is a colorful and joyous celebration of deceased loved ones. People create vibrant altars, decorate sugar skulls, and visit cemeteries to honor and remember their ancestors. The history of Halloween is a fascinating journey through time, blending ancient Celtic beliefs, Roman influences, Christian adaptations, and American innovations. From its humble beginnings as a harvest festival to its current status as a global celebration of the eerie in the macabre, Halloween has endured and evolved, offering people of all ages a chance to embrace their inner spirits, connect with the past, and indulge in a little spooky fun each year on the last day of October. Halloween is a testament to the enduring power of tradition and the human need for both celebration and the embrace of the unknown. As the sun sets on October 31st each year, the world comes alive with costumes, jack-o'-lanterns, candy, and a sense of wonder and fear, all in honor of the ancient customs that have shaped this beloved holiday. Whether you're carving a pumpkin, donning a costume, or just enjoying the company of friends and family, Halloween invites you to join in the celebration, to face your fears, and to welcome the spirits of the past. Before you go, remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Your support is what keeps this channel thriving. And check out our previous stories. Share your favorite moments from today's story in the comments below. We love hearing from you.